Happy Friday, everyone. Barbara from allbrands.com, and I am so excited that you're joining us today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We have a very special guest. Her name is Donna McCauley. She is a Westerly Design accredited teacher and brand ambassador, and she owns uh, DM Quilting, uh, and she's an amazing instructor, and she's been doing, I know that we did a, a video recently with So Steady. She does tons of education on So Steady University. Oh my gosh, thank you everyone for watching. Hi, Janetta. Hi, Marilyn. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jill. Thank you for joining us. Tell us uh, where you're watching from, maybe what you're working on, because I'm very excited about having Donna here because she's just great. So here she is. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Hi, Barbara <laughs> and everyone else. How exciting for me to get to be here with you today. <laughs> everyone is saying hi. So Donna is from Phoenix, Arizona, but she's a California native, right? That's right. Oh my goodness. And how's the weather over there? Oh, well, the weather's a little bit warm here in Phoenix. It's uh, dry, but it's still kind of warm. So <laughs> it's perfect to stay indoors with the air conditioning on and do some quilting. Yes, for sure. It That's is right. No, no better time than ever. Well, I'm definitely going to do a dog walk today because the weather is absolutely beautiful here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, um, I don't, how's the weather for you? My weather here is a little bit warm, uh, but it's summertime and that is to be expected. But I keep being told that it's a dry heat and so it's not quite as noticeable, but <laughs> warm is warm. It's so humid here in Louisiana. I couldn't tell if I was sweating or if it was condensation from all the humidity. Um, <laughs> so you <would> definitely <laughs> know the difference here. <laughs> Well, let's jump into it. It seems like we have tons of people watching already. Um, guys, oh. if you haven't seen, we have a, a few uh, ways to be entered into a giveaway today. We're going to be doing one giveaway during the live, and then we're going to have a grand prize giveaway that we'll be announcing in a week, and I'll tell you what those things are later. So, yeah. So, so just getting started, because this is our first video with the uh, ruler foot that we've oh, done so far. I know. That's exciting. <laughs> so let me know if y'all have tried that or not, but can you explain that? Um, like the I ruler? certainly can. Yeah. So okay. what we have is a couple of different ones here it's the same one just different sizes and so the foot uh the shank size that's the part that attaches onto the machine the size of that uh is dependent on the machine you have and so all you need to know to place the order for your foot is the make and model of your machine and mm -hmm. all brands will take care of all the rest of it and so that's just really amazing but with the foot in the package, there um, is also a 12 inch arc template. Now you may not be able to see this real well because of the lighting, it's clear. And so this comes with the foot and there's instructions on how to put the foot on your machine. Once that's attached to the machine, then you lower the feed dogs and as long as the foot is touching the edge of the template, you will stitch out the shape of the template. And so there's just so many different options and ways to do it. Let me turn so here you can see a little bit better. And this is one that... <laughs> look, look um, Donna. Is, this is how much I love it. I have oh, it too. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And so Barbara already has one there. And we did have so, a question, will it, will the foot fit on the Luminaire? Absolutely, because um, it's a, a low shank, but all you have to do is when you order it, just put your machine brand and model number in there 
It will automatically fit you the one that fits your machine, but there's a shank adapter and that brings it from high to low. And you get you the have correct to one. So <laughs> the important thing to remember though, is the templates are different thicknesses. And so if you have a low shank foot, then you will want to have low shank templates. But if you have a high shank foot, then of course you can use the larger, thicker templates. So that's what's really important there. And all of the templates are also available in long arm thickness. And so the foot wouldn't fit that. You'd still have to have the correct foot for your machine, but um, they are thick enough to use with a long arm also. Oh my gosh. So Thank you, Debbie. So yeah, um, I have a photo of the foot up close, just if y'all want to see. It's going to cover our faces, Donna, so uh, don't be oh, alarmed. But uh, this great. is a, a picture of the foot. So if you could see, like, it's rounded on all sides. And that basically goes around the template. And you can do free motion quilting, but have straight lines, right? Yeah, yeah, it's controlled free motion yes. because the template, it's, it's, um, makes it a lot easier to help you create some beautiful designs. It's just so much fun to do. So the foot is actually a half of an inch in diameter and the needle goes just right dead center of that foot. And so that will give you a quarter of an inch space to the outside of the foot. And so all of our measurements, everything gets calculated based on that quarter inch space, even though the foot is a half inch. Sometimes that's a little bit confusing to people, but our needle is in the center. And so that's why we care about that. Yeah, so, so, so this, this foot will fit basically any machine. Um, it's just whenever you order it from allbrands.com, it's the So Steady uh, Westerly Ruler Foot. And you just enter your machine model number and they'll ship you the appropriate one to fit your machine. So that's high shank, low shank. Didn't you have a diagram, Donna? I show do. Us a little... So there are actually four different sizes on um, the shanks. There's a low shank way over here on the, this end down here. And then we go to the high shank. There's a high shank special and there's a medium shank foot. And so the medium shank is one that's used on the Bernina seven and eight series. Um, the low shank fits a lot of different models of different makes and then the high shank as well. But the high shank special, there's only a few sewing machines that has to have that. And that's because their needle is offset slightly, the center of the needle. It's a little farther uh, forward than what some of the others and these other feet won't work. So when you specify what your machine make and model is, you're gonna get the correct foot. You don't have to try to memorize the chart and figure it out. Although there is a chart on the back that's a great reference so yeah so Faye, <laughs> Faye thank you for shopping at all brands and purchasing your long arm so um her question um we had a question that says did you say you can use it with a long arm and the answer is you can Absolutely. use the yes. templates with the long <laughs> arm you need yes. to have with the long arm you would need to have the ruler foot for your machine. One of these would not work. These do not fit on the long arm, but they're out there. Yeah, so the and long so arms come the with, the, with the closed toe feet. Is that the one that they use with the templates? Um, not always. It has to be taller. Um, I had to purchase a special one um, for that. Okay. But typically, it's not quite thick enough. It's kind of like the quilting foot on general sewing machines, the domestic machines. 
Mm -hmm. but that's too thin because see how the thickness here on the foot, you have to have it tall enough so the template doesn't go underneath it. And so that's why it's about, oh, a quarter of an inch tall and the template will not go underneath it when it is positioned correctly on the sewing machine. Where some of the other uh, feet that you might have would not be thick enough. Yeah, so I actually have one um, on my machine right here. Oh, Maybe great. You can tell me if this is the correct size. So, so um, when you have a, like this is a low shank ruler foot here. Okay. Okay. That's the correct one, yes. For my brother Luminaire with the shank adapter okay. on it. And then this is the thickness of the yeah. template. And it's a little bit higher than the actual foot. And it just, the foot goes around the template. Right to so, get that exact quarter inch. When you have a uh, higher shank foot, then you would be able to use the thicker templates. And that's um, important to know. Part of the reason, if you have a low shank machine, you cannot use the high shank templates because they will not go around the back side of the foot. Yeah. It'll get up. Yeah. So so you just select no shank and then you're good. It's it's, re, it's important to remember that if you have a low shank foot, then mm -hmm. you have low shank templates. Yeah. And so I pull out and look here how thick. This is a long arm template now. Cool. And you can see <laughs> that. that is very so thick. So there's quite a, quite a bit of difference there, but it makes a, a, a big difference. So. The low shank is three millimeters. The high shank is four and a half. And then we have the long arm, which is six. So that's, if you were to stack two low shank templates on top of each other, that's how thick the long arm would be. And so ah. here, is, here is a low shank. And look, you can see that thickness here. Oh yes, and much here thicker. is the long arm. <laughs> Yeah. So there's a big difference, but that's exactly why you need to know which kind you have. Once yeah. you, you buy your foot, you're going to know from then on. Yeah. Well, I know that you have been designing some specific rulers for Westerly and So Steady. Um, and you have a new line that came out with some new templates. And we're really excited to see those. Um, did you want to show us some of those? Sure. Okay. Those are really fun. <laughs> so while you switch your camera, I'm going to put you backstage because uh, she has a beautiful Bernina 830 machine, which I was oogling over. I love that machine. Um, and we just so happen to have a trade-in available in our Metairie location. So um, she said, I said, what do you think of that machine, Donna? Do you love it? And she was like, oh my gosh, that's the best machine. I love it so much. Oh, thank you, Carol. You are so sweet. Um, so yes, we do have that in stock. Uh, we have one trade-in available that we can, uh, that we can uh, order for you. So um, let me tell you again how you can win because we're doing Oh, not that one. So steady. We're doing a giveaway, which I'm so excited about. So what you need to do, if you want to win, which the grand prize that we're announcing next week on Friday at the same time is going to be the low shank or whatever shank. What This is uh, the ruler foot and the 12 inch arc template. Uh, if you like, comment and share this post. And we'll announce the winner on Friday. And we're also going to be doing another giveaway during the live um, of a different product. So um, let me know. Let me see how y'all are doing. Yes, I agree. Donna is very talented. Oh, my gosh. Hello, everyone. Ah, thank you for joining. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Megan, I'm glad that you said this because 
I have some ruler templates. Everybody needs more practice, but So Steady just came out with a wonderful, wonderful program called So Steady University. And there is a link to the classes in the comments section of this, uh, in the description section of this video. And um, those are really great. And Donna is one of, I think she probably did a lot <laughs> maybe the majority of them i'm not sure but she is a, an amazing teacher um oh thank you marilyn that's so sweet all right so donna how are you doing just give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go okay let's see oh susan maybe i will take you up on your offer so let's see i'm gonna bring in donna How's it going, Donna? You ready? Donna, you, are you ready to show us well, some things? Well, I am not back in here. I'm still stuck in the back room. Okay, I just put you in so we can see your sewing machine now. Are you with us? Giveaways, yes, yes. Theo, oh my gosh. Yes, Carol, she is a very patient and good teacher. All right, Donna, so we have you in the live. Can you hear me? No, I can okay. hear you. Can you hear <laughs> can me? Can you hear me? No, <laughs> no, I can't hear you. I'm just kidding. Can you hear? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay. And I can see you too. Good. So if you're ready to start demonstrating some of your awesome exclusively oh, cool. made by her and y'all she's going to show you some beautiful samples too and um i've included links to all well, of these um so i hope that you enjoy these because i think that they're just wonderful so you want to take it away donna oh great well i um i'm good to go as long as you can hear me yes, i'm happy can so what we have here now, this is a sample of the Winding Way temple or template. Um, and it, this one, when I designed it, my goal was to be able to create one that would make it real easy for you to do meandering type quilting. And so, oh gosh, I'm sorry. Um, it, really is easy to use. Let me grab it. And all of these templates have a stitch path right down here. Now that's an easy access thread slot. And what it is, it's an open slot in the template where you can lift your presser foot and get in and around that needle without having to cut your threads. And so it really makes it easy to interchange different sizes of templates while we're quilting. So let's go on over and see how that works. With this particular template, it has right here an A and a B, and we simply start at A and travel through the path and wind our way around to B. Once we get to B, we spin the template. And now we're ready to go and travel back to A. So I have marked just a straight horizontal line right across my border and will position. I'm actually going to do that. So what I'm using on this machine here is a number 72 uh, foot by Bernina. If I were using my Westerly foot, which I have right here, I have to also add the number 77 adapter. Now that will let me connect it to my machine and everything works just fine. I frequently end up using the number 72 simply because I have 
uh, different thicknesses of templates that I work with. And so this one will let me use the thicker ones also. So I will come down to the end and lower my needle and pull up my thread. And I do that because I have my feed dogs are lowered, so they will not control my machine. I am the feed dogs. And so once I have to hang on to that thread in order to get going, just so I don't uh, make a big mess because without the presser foot down all the way pushing on it or the feed dogs pushing up against the fabric, there is no um, pressure or control on that. So I will lift my foot and slide the template right in place. How did you lift that foot so without touching, Donna? That was like magic. Yeah. Is that a feature on the 830? It's on. And y'all, that machine's so not available I anymore. Have, I Sorry. <laughs> but we have one in stock. <laughs> well, I this is with my knee lifter. And so many people don't even use that. But it is a wonderful feature. I love it, especially on this machine. I use it on all of them. And so it lets me raise my foot with my knee. I can do it with my buttons here. And so once we are at the needle, then we line up, there are horizontal alignment marks right on the template. And then those align with our horizontal mark. Now this template, I have several small pieces of stable tape because there are a lot of little places, little uh, peninsulas in a sense that come out. And so because of the design of the template, we simply stitch. And of course, I'm moving the fabric and template. I'm holding the template down on the fabric, but travel through the path. So it is the same width as what the foot is. And I can just travel right on through there without a lot of guesswork. I don't have to try to figure out whether or not my spacing is right when I'm doing my stippling or meandering because the template does it for me. Now, one thing that we wa I want to really make sure you understand when you are doing ruler work, we have all learned that using a top stitch needle, generally a 9014 is the size that you want. But the way it works, it carries the thread down into the bobbin and it just seems to work best. It isn't necessary to have um, anything else just that 9014. And so now I'm over at B, which is the stopping point on the template, and I will spin the template in place and realign with my mark and travel right back, back through the path again. Now, when you're doing rule work quilting, a slower speed is better than fast you have better stitch formation and control over what you're doing. This is not NASCAR, so we don't have to highball around everything. <laughs> Speak for yourself, I'm going Donna. probably a little faster <laughs> than what you would want to. <laughs> no, I agree. I need to hurry up and get over here. <laughs> it's not NASCAR, that's for sure. Everyone is loving this. Oh my goodness. And I'm sorry that whenever I made the comment with the link in the notes, everybody, it's from every Facebook page that we have. So there's like seven different comments with the link, but the links are all in the description of this video. So um, if you like something, just make a note of it. And all of the links are in the description of this video too. Yes, and it is, it makes it so simple to follow the template. Uh, thanks, Linda. 
<laughs> I'm kind of a NASCAR uh, fan with sewing, but you're right, Donna. You have to go a little slower with the uh, with the templates. <laughs> that is so easy. Does everybody like see and understand how easy that that works? Donna, can you show us the um, the finished result? In just a second here, we're yeah. almost finished. And so this is three patterns on that. And we have one row. Now this is really great when we want to do an all over edge to edge pattern. And so here's what we finish with. Can you see that? Yes, that's beautiful. So this template, um, you have to have the foot already, the the uh, Westerly ruler foot. But this template on our website is twenty dollars. That's it, <laughs> with free so, shipping. <laughs> so I included the link for that as well. That's the Winding Way template. I love that, Donna. Everybody so else is saying easy awesome. to do. Yes. And yeah. then once you get down to the other end, you would just simply stitch in the ditch along your seam line and begin your next row and come right back across. And or come consistent. back to the beginning. Well, it's very consistent. Now this stitches out a five inch square um, approximately. It's not square but it's a five inch pattern. And so it's really a nice size way um, and you can easily fill up the whole backside of your quilt and the front. And it just is really, yeah. really kind of pretty. So here's a good idea from Nancy. She was wondering if there's different sizes. I think it's just this one size for now, which is really great. And it's universal because if you're doing like a puffy quilt or like a, a thinner quilt, um, I think that this is a good size. What do you think, Donna? Well, I really toyed with the idea of multiple sizes on this particular template, but the way it works in order to keep it really simple for you to use and have that uh, stitch path to stay within, I couldn't really go a lot smaller without making it more complicated for you. And if we were to go bigger, we're kind of defeating the purpose. I find just doing another row um, serves that purpose. So I have a sample here. I don't know if you can see this, where the whole uh, page or piece of it is all done with the winding way. Now there is um, instructions that come with the template and they will actually give you all of the directions to complete this little project right here in how to set up and prepare to do your quilting and use it. So it's pretty user friendly in that sense. I love that. Do you have the package? Like what it looks like whenever it gets delivered? And it is free shipping within the continental USA. Sorry, guys. Uh, but if you go to our website, uh, there is a calculate shipping button if you're watching from um, outside of the continent of the United States. Baby quilt would be so cute. So what you get with the template, what you get with the template is uh, two pages here of instructions on how to, to use it. And it shows, it doesn't show it's spinning it around, but it shows you where the different patterns are and how you can just connect them in order to complete. Um, this makes a 22 by 25 centerpiece and you have the instructions down there for that. Yeah. On the so back you have side, of every Sorry. one of the package inserts is an explanation of what all the markings on the template are. 
some of them have different lines in different places for different things. So this is just horizontal, diagonal, vertical centering marks. There are previous stitch patterns etched into the template. These are not painted on, so they will not ever wear off. It is always etched into the back side of the template. That's good to so know. It's a pretty easy, <laughs> pretty easy one to use. Yeah. So we're 30 minutes in and it's we a, got one, two, three, a, four more templates to go. So now it's NASCAR time, Donna. <laughs> can we can we show the next template that you have? Because so now y'all, she has more than what we're showing today. But and um, the link to see all of those is in the comments uh, of the video. So what we're gonna do here is just kind of a real quick and easy way. Um, but I'll grab the template in just a second. So these are soft squares. Now there's a whole project that a complementary project for these templates and they are um, available at no additional cost. They're not in included in the package there. There are some of them are downloadable off of the university. So the template is a soft square. Now there are two different sizes and all of these have um, two sizes within the template. And so that's really kind of nice. Instead of having to have four separate templates, you have two. Each one of them has the thread slot so you can get in and out of the size and stitch what you need. So with these two templates, there's a complete project that can be made um, and all of the directions. And so it's just really a lot of fun. I'm going to real quickly here show you how this would work. We'll insert underneath and I'm, I've marked eight rotations and we'll just show you how fast this goes. So we just follow around as long as that foot touches the edge of the template, you will stitch the shape of the template. So once we get here, then we can rotate and realign and stitch another pattern and make part of our design. We're not going to do the whole thing here just because we're NASCARing, but I want to give you an idea of what it works. And so by coming back to center and then rotating the template again and realign with the marks built into it, it lets us create different patterns. The instructions um, that are part of the soft square centerpiece has many different design options and how you would create them all. So I'm going to now go to a different template, but see how easy it was for me to remove that. I don't have any extra pieces to hang on to with my hands or anything like that. Let's go. These are leaflets. And so these also have two sizes in the template built into it. So with two templates, we have four sizes. Now this little bitty guy down here stitches out at three quarters of an inch by one inch. And the biggest one here is two inches by two and a half. And so what I'm going to show you is how if we were to complete this pattern all the way around, then we would have um, a flower design. So let's just use the large one and get out of there yeah. and come out to our edge. I agree. So, hey, everybody, I just want to let y'all know the price of these. Um, the soft square is um, starts at $16.99. 
Um, and the leaflet is $12. So very, very affordable when you have the ruler put to use these. So I'm using only one side of the leaflet and I'm stitching a curvy line. So when I get down to the end down here, I'm going to change and go over to the small size and we are going to just simply put a little leaf cluster. So this is really a great way to easily fill in a border um, or to frame your pattern your blocks, if you wanted to create some type of a design on the center part. And so now once we're back in here, we can lift it and it just changes the whole look of all of it. Yes, all of the so templates the are free shipping. the horizontal line matches up to the thread slot and just position it right on our mark line and then we slide it down. So I don't have to really do anything more than that. Now I will stitch the left hand side. Stop, slide, and stitch. So I like to use stable tape. It's important to have some kind of grippy product on the back side. If there's something else that you like to use, then that's okay with me. But you do have to have something because without anything on there, it's just going to slip slide all over the place. And so once we get down here, we'll have one more and then be finished. So you could add as many little flower elements as you wanted to, but this is just a real quick sample. This works to make um, a nice vine or even ropes. And I have some other samples already stitched out that I can show you. But see how quick and easy that was to accomplish? I love that, Donna. So, that so beautiful. We stitch the left side, the right side, the left side, the right side. And as you progress down the straight line through the middle of your border, you can create um, your patterns as you go. So with this one, there's also uh, full detailed instructions that will uh, take you through completion of your project for both, let me get those over here and we'll show you what they are, for both the soft squares and the leaflets. And so here we have, this is the soft squares. Now that's a centerpiece that's about 22 by 25 in size and all of the instructions to do every one of these different design elements are included in that. It's about eight pages, I think, in length, but there's just so many options there. And so then we have the leaflets, and it's a little bit bigger in size. This is 28 inch square, but it has uh, all of the different combinations there that you could use. So we have lots of things here that can be done. Oh dear, I'm sorry. And so there's lots of things that can happen here with just the leaflets alone. So let's take a look at another one that's Jill. here. This is the <laughs> ribbons and bows. Hey, hey Donna. This is the ribbons and bows. Donna, Jill asks, what was that? Jill asks, I could do that? The answer is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And really, I mean, oh. and at the price point to get into the free motion quilting with the ruler templates is just so much better. I mean, the, it's such, such a less of an investment than getting an embroidery machine or purchasing a long arm with robotics. And you can see her lines are so straight. It's amazing. So we have a combination 
version of things, um, if you send your quilts out to have them done for you, that's a one-time expense and then it's all finished. But if you put that same amount of money into templates, you're going to have a whole lot of quilting you can do by yourself, for yourself, for a very long time. So that's just something to think about. It's an investment. It's not an expense where paying to have your work done is an expense. So here's where the straightaway template is really handy for all this little channel stitching down here. This template, it has right at the very bottom a line, and I've added some extra marks on there um, to help me see that. I was working on some black fabric and needed all the help I could get black on black on black. And so the foot fits right in the track. Now this is the one we were looking at that showed the different thicknesses of the uh, long arm versus the low shank. And this is exactly a half inch wide. So the foot just can only go forward or backwards. It cannot go sideways. And so that really helps you. If you've ever tried to do stitching in the ditch and you have any trouble with that, this eliminates your trouble. You simply line up this line right down here, a line up mark right there with your seam line and you will stitch to it, providing you're in the seam up at the top. As you come down, then you slide the template and you stitch some more. And so it's real easy to use. And um, it's great for cross hatching, stitching in the ditch. I use it for basting for all of the different other straight line stitching that's done on here. Now we also have a set of templates here. This is the ribbons and bows is the combination. Oh, hey, there are four different- before, before you segue into that, with the yes, uh, the one that you just showed, the straightaway template, that is probably, I think, the most universal template that you could buy besides the 12 inch arc, which is my, this one's my go-to, but I don't have, I don't have that one yet, the um, straightaway template. Um, and you can use that on a long arm as well. If you have like a ruler base oh, for your long wow. arm, perfect ruler. You can. You really wow. can. Um, and the reason that it'll fit any of the machines is because you enter down here. The, the, there's an opening and it's the same full width. You don't have to worry about getting underneath the uh, presser foot with this. You just slide right in and out of that. But what's really great, let me grab some black fabric so you can see a little better. On this particular template, I've added a lot of other helpers. So we have along the edge over here measurements. Now these are half inch uh, spaces in here and then we have alignment guides that are also a half inch. So if your foot is right in the center, this first one will be a half inch and then one inch from the needle. When we go the other direction, these are a quarter inch on that side coming across plus uh, the half inch that goes up. Right down here, this line coming across, that is where the needle stops. So as you're coming down the path, if you were to line this line up right there, right with your stopping point or the seam line at the bottom of your block, then when you get down here, that needle is going to stop exactly in the corner. So you would line this one up with your vertical seam, this one up with your horizontal seam, and you would stop in the corner. When you get there, you turn the template and you go sideways. And so even if you are used to using a walking foot or um, a number 10 foot with the guide down the middle that takes you down through there, this is really so much faster using it with a ruler foot because you don't have to rotate that quilt, you rotate the template.
Guess how much that one is. So, <laughs> do we have any questions about that? Others? Oh my gosh, everyone loves it. That um, that one, the straightaway, is only eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents with free shipping. So yes, and they love how it works in the corner. Will it work on a high shank seven ninety? Yes, you could get this for any machine or long arm. Um, correct, Donna. Yes, there's three different thicknesses. That is correct. So there's low shank, high shank, and long yeah. arm. And I have been amazed at how many of the long arm ladies have um, ordered these and really find that it just speeds things up. Even the long arm machine will maneuver in different directions. Having the template that just simply turns for you and you line it up it's easy to hang on to with one hand while you're driving the machine because of the size of it. And so you still need stable tape on there. And I have a little bit bigger pieces on here because I don't want any movement. But you know, without the stable tape, it will slide all over the place. But when we put that on there, you can actually move your fabric with it by putting some pressure on your uh, template. So long arm, high shank, and low shank, all three sizes available. Yeah. I think it's probably the perfect template. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And for only $18.99, uh, oh my gosh, that's a no brainer. But you do have to have the Westerly ruler foot first that you can purchase on allbrands.com. Um, and I'll, I'll look up the link for that while you uh, demonstrate the next thing. What's next, Donna? Well, it, it, you know, some of the machine companies now are producing their own um, with guidance from Leone West had worked with some of the different companies, like, like with the Bernina foot. And these all work with that because they are a half inch in diameter. And so um, that's the main thing you need to know is that you need that foot. Yeah, Bernina makes the best ruler foot, I think. Their, their, um, their version of the ruler foot for the templates are, is very nice for the Berninas. Um, I know with Brother, I went ahead and I got the, uh, if you have a Brother machine, I got the, the So Steady Westerly foot from all brands. And um, I think Janome right. has made one. Am I right? I'm not sure. Yes, Janome has their own foot now. They do. Janome has their own foot now um, for the M7 and the 9450. I believe it probably would work on some of the other machines, um, but I know that the Wesley does. But Leone worked with them and developed that foot for them. So it's pretty yeah. much the same thing. Yeah. I would so. say, though, that for every machine except for Bernina, I would just go ahead and get the So Steady foot because I don't think that there's much of a difference um, in the manufacturing of it. But the Bernina no, one has I like a really nice spring in it, yeah. right? You just want to be careful and order them from all brands. Do not go to Amazon and get one at a great price because you might not ever get the foot, but it's not the same foot. Yeah, so. more and more these days, there's a lot of um, overseas knockoffs and they don't stand behind the product. But uh, So Steady is uh, made in the United States of America. Um, and now that they manufacture Westerly as well, that's made in the USA. So you're supporting a U.S. business. Okay, well, they so do we have, have been some more? manufacturing the Westerly product line the whole time. So this is the ribbons and bows uh, wreath combination. And there are four templates there, and all of these in this particular package. Um, is what you need to create this project. Now, this is the ribbons and bows. And 
right along here. I don't know. Can you see that okay? Can you see what those are? Yes, we see it. Do I need to lift this up a little bit? Uh, let us know if everybody can see that, but I see, I definitely see the ribbons that you're pointing to. So this is the ribbon candy. And that is, um, those are available. There's six different sizes in the ribbon candy. One inch, two inch, three, four, five, and six inch goes all the way up. And these here, this is the little itty bitty two inch ribbon candy. There's also a little one inch right over on the side that you can see. But all of these other designs in this quilt, everything, almost everything came from the ribbons and bows. Of course, the clamshells didn't. But look at this here. So that is a wreath. And then in the center is the bow that's created with the same set of templates. And there are in these, there are multiple sizes. There's a five and a half inch template, eight and a half and 11 and a half in diameter. And then the wreath size, which is this one on the outside. And that is um, 11 and a half inches. And so the pattern is the ribbons and bows galore. And it is available on the the university and you will have 30 pages, 29 pages of detailed instructions to create this centerpiece, uh, whole cloth tart, or add some borders to it and create an entire larger size quilt. So Lots of options, lots of fun stuff. It's all pretty easy to do. You saw how, how nice that worked. And then there are several other templates also, but these were the ones that we had selected to focus on today. I love that. Do you have I a- hope um... that some of you like them and are willing to give them a try because they're really a lot of fun to use and pretty to work with. Yeah. So um, the uh, we just looked at the ribbon candy and then the set ribbons and bows wreath template. Can we see what the actual, um, do you have those templates with you that we can see? I do. Okay. I, for the ribbon candy. Uh huh. We have a few minutes left. And guys, okay. So, so the ribbon candy. Go ahead. What? Did you have a question? Nope. I'm good. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> so I'm going out. This is the great big six inch one. Um, and it will stitch. You can actually use it for some all over edge to edge because it's so big. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you see that okay? Are we seeing it, Barbara? There you go. Yeah, if you could just push it so, up just a little bit. Like the winding way, it starts at A and it goes around in the trunk track until you get to B and then you spin the template around the very same way and travel back the other direction lining up on your horizontal mark and stitch are we still here yes we are we have a lot of your fans watching that ha already have um, some of these templates saying how much they this is the smaller size stitches the six
Barbara, I'm not hearing anything. I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're still, still here. here. We hear you. Can you hear me? No? Oh. Well, while Donna uh, gets her camera together, I did promise a giveaway during this live video. And just for fun and because it's Friday, and oh uh, yes of course bell individually these are free shipping so definitely yes free shipping on any of these dm quilting rulers um sorry uh yes my wish list is growing too debbie i agree so while uh she jumps out and hops back in um i'm gonna be doing the giveaway so the first one the first giveaway that we're going to be doing is that straight away template okay that is that universal one, the square one with the little uh, big long U to do your cross hatching and straight line quilting. So give me some fun emojis, everybody, and I will pick a winner. Um, I'll, I, I won't look at the comments for a little while so that you can show me some fun emojis, how you're feeling today, uh, maybe an emoji about what you're excited for this weekend. Um, and I'll pick a random winner. I'm just going to click. I'm going to look at you and I'm going to click. Ah, ah, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay. I want to see some emojis. Uh, ah, Kathleen, congratulations. Direct message me your email address, uh, address and phone number. That's at all 1976. And I will get that one shipped to you, but I think there was someone, was it, uh, that wanted the winding way. So thank you for suggesting. I do read the comments and I listen to you. So I'm going to do another one. So keep chiming in. And we're going to be doing the winding way. That was the really cool one. Uh, somebody suggested a baby quilt. I love that one. So I, I hope I win it, but I'm definitely going to buy it if I don't, <laughs> uh, if, if Donna doesn't just send me one. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 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 there's a lot of comments coming in. Jennifer Howling, congratulations. You won the winding way. So uh, just direct, direct message me your information at Auburn's 1976, and I will get that shipped to you. Donna, you're back. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Hi. Hey. I'm here. <laughs> I hear you. PGIF, oh, right? Right. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Oh, I have, it must be the heat, right? <laughs> yeah. We, we, oh. we can have something, something to blame. <laughs> so, just a real quick little note back there behind me are some samples that were stitched out with some different templates that I have that we haven't talked about today. So, there are um, quite a few different options for you and more and more being released all the time. And so if you find one that you're easy to work with, the straightaway and the winding way, those are excellent to start with. You can get a lot done just with that before we go any further. But I want to thank all of you for coming in today and inviting me to join you. This has really just been quite a treat for me to um, kind of get out of the studio and come into your store. Yeah, and thank you for, let it, for letting us into your sewing room. I just love your sewing room and your Bernina machines. Looks so nice with a Bernina roller oh, foot. Thank you. <laughs> I spent a I like. It's a great machine. I would not want to trade it for anything at this point in time. <laughs> um, I'm just hoping it lives forever so that I can continue working with it. Yeah. It's, so it's, if anybody likes amazing. that machine, that 830, All Brands has a trade-in in our Metairie location. Um, so just let us know. Donna's endorsed it. <laughs> so it oh, is a very well, good, good machine. So, and Donna, it's a great machine. How many university classes have you done so far? Can you tell us? Because I included a link to ed additional education on these rulers, so you're not going to be left high and dry. How many videos have you done? Well, 
No. Every one of these um, templates has um, instructions. There's a, a whole little project that goes with it. So I honestly don't know what a number is, but I don't know if you're familiar with the Essence of Tradition project. And this is the Design Club program. This is a whole quilt that I made that has 50 different designs all in it. Now this uses the Westerly templates, but it's also available on the university. So that's something to take a look at too. It has um, a lot of different things in there, full detailed instructions on how to do every single design that's in the book. So I have quite a few that are on there, uh, several other just project patterns and things like that, in addition to the templates and template instructions. Oh my gosh, I Renee is loving it. <laughs> I think that that quilt is beautiful. And I love that it's your, uh, your headshot for all of your uh, university instructional videos that you have. So not only like you can join the club and you can join by quarter or you can get the whole thing, um, the essence of tradition, right? Um, so you can buy it a piece at exactly. a time or you can buy the whole thing. And those are all on our website. Yes. yes. Donna is a great teacher. I hope I did you justice. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, so definitely check that well, out. I think uh, this is that as long as you can keep that ruler foot touching the template, you can stitch out all of these designs that I put together. They are really easy to do, um, but I give you so much information, written instructions and videos on many of them, not 100% yet, but many of them. So in time. Mm -hmm. Well, here's wishing you and everyone else a beautiful and wonderful Friday and start to the weekend. We hope that you all have great time in your sewing room. And do you have anything that you're going to be working on this weekend, Donna? I actually have a secret project that you're all going to discover here soon. And I'm going to be making some samples for that. So that's going to be kind of fun when you discover what it is. Oh, well, maybe we'll have to have you back but on the show whenever that comes out. Yeah, that would be kind of fun to do, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, goodness. So th that's going to be my project for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't forget, everyone, so. um, like, comment, and share this post for a chance to win the um, Westerly Ruler Foot and 12 inch arc template. And there is currently free shipping on all of Donna's templates. I can't say when or, or how long that's going to be on, but I don't plan on taking it off currently, um, but I can't guarantee that it'll be free shipping all the time. Uh, well, that's good saving. Yeah. So like, comment, and share this video for a chance to win. And thank you so much, Donna, for joining us. We really appreciate you and what you do for the quilting community. Okay, everybody. Well, y'all have a great day and we really appreciate you. Mwah.